Hello, hello. Hello, 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 hello. Good evening. Hello, Renee. Good evening. Okay, there you are. Let's see who else. Marcela, Lausmin, and Maritza. We are five. Okay, uh, it's already eight o'clock. We are going to wait a couple of minutes for the others can join. Okay, online already, Ulysses. Hello. Hello, my friend. Hello, teacher. Good, night. Hola, good evening. <laughs> good evening, yes. Good night, not yet. Okay, that's at the end, at the end of the class. Okay, because it's the final class, you want to finish fast. You want to finish like that. Okay. Uh, hello, 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 Maritza Osmin. And good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Nice to see you. Karen, Stephanie, hello. And Marcy Rodriguez. Okay, I see you. Okay. Okay, guys, welcome, welcome, welcome. This is the final class. Imagine the final class of your model. And um, how do you feel about that? I, I want to know your opinion. How do you feel now that you that you can finish or that you could finish because this is the last class? How do you feel that you are in the final class of your third model? Huh? Uh, at that moment, I'm very, very happy because uh, I finished the, the three mall, and also I finished the, the last class. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Elise, for sharing how you feel about it. Okay, congrats, because I know that it's not easy. Okay, it's not easy to connect at night, to have the classes after work. Okay, after your work. Okay, someone else, you can share your your feeling about this ending. Good evening. Good evening, Candy. Nice to see you. <laughs> the same. Um, I feel anxious and, and happy and a little sad because I, we finished other model. Okay, yeah, that's uh, understandable and entendible that you feel like that, but happy because every model that you finish, you continue new one, a new one, correct? New knowledge, new things to learn, and a lot of things that you can put in practice, okay, in English. Okay, and someone else, Maritza, and you? And maybe we have. Mm -hmm. Um, we have, we have, can you continue? I couldn't hear you. Maybe we have, and then you have stopped. Candy, I, I didn't hear you well at the end. Okay. Uh, welcome, Anna. Hello, how are you tonight? Good night, teacher. Good night. No, we are not leaving <laughs> yet. No, it's <laughs> not. <laughs> Ah, good evening. That is the good difference. Evening, good evening. Okay. It's, 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 yeah, you were saying goodbye. See you. I don't want to <laughs> continue in this class. Okay. And so on. Not problem. No problem. We confuse. That's normal. But you know that good night is when you say goodbye. Good evening is at the beginning. Okay. Any Anyone else? Would you like to share your your feeling with the class, how you feel, what, what do you expect? Next, next model. Okay, it's the time is open. Okay, you have open opportunity to express your feeling tonight because tonight we finish and this is the last day. Okay, yes, Osmin. Osmin, I didn't see you yesterday's mm. class. 
Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Uh, I I'm feeling uh, uh, happy for uh, finish the third model, and I learn too much or uh, a lot. A lot, uh, uh -huh. correct. A lot. I I learn a lot. Uh, I uh, <laughs> sorry. Okay. One more. Okay. Excellent. Thank you for sharing your feeling with the class. Okay. You learned a lot. Okay. Excellent. Monica, hello. Welcome. And Ada, I see Ada and Mabel too. There, there she is. Okay. Anyone else? Last sharing. The last one. The last one. Uh, Josman, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Okay. I uh had -huh. no more, no more share, no more sharing the feeling that you, that you finished the model. Okay. Uh, let's see who else is connecting. Let me see. Um, hmm. Connecting to Carolina. Okay. Hello guys. Welcome. This is the first, the first class. No, this is the last, the last class of the model. Imagine you reached it. Lo alcanzó. Okay. Perfect. Okay, some of you shared already your, your feelings. Okay, great. And next model, um, you will be informed when to begin the next model. Le van a informar cuando comience the next model. Okay, any doubt? Um, all of you complete, complete the assignments, correct? Complete, yes. Yesterday I was asking that. I'm preguntando yeah. eso. Okay, perfect. Okay, hello, Elwin. Welcome, welcome. Okay, guys, let's see the material about the, the final class. Uh, so you can have a little bit more uh, knowledge in English. Okay, conocimiento, knowledge. Uh, just give me one moment. I'm going to share my monitor uh, right away. Okay, when you see it, please confirm that you are seeing my screen. Please confirm. Yes, I can see. Uh, okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you for confirming. Uh, okay, let's see the class. Let's open. The class begins in this part. Uh, what class number is it? Class number is? This class. A number class number 16. Uh -huh. The model, the model is compounded with uh, 16 classes during the month. Okay, 16. Okay, welcome guys to the final class. Okay, many congrats for you to be here connected. Okay, a volunteer for this uh, paragraph. Volunteer to read it? Me or me? Okay, okay, go ahead. Uh, through, through this course, you have done big effort. Effort, effort to continue with the learning process. I encourage, uh -huh, encourage. encourage you to continue learning and practicing, practicing mm -hmm. where, what you now know. Okay, okay, keep on, keep on. Mm -hmm. Keep on with English. Continue with English, okay. The paragraph is uh, throughout this course, a lo largo de, that is the meaning of this word. Throughout this course, you have done a big effort to continue with this learning process, all of you, all of you, every one of you. I encourage you. What is encourage? What's encourage? Hey, come on, guys. Let's do it. Continue. Don't stop. And that is encourage. Meaning in Spanish? Meaning? Uh -huh. Come on, come on. Let's do it. Go ahead. Uh -huh. Motivar. Mot uh -huh. eh, motivar. Motivate. Motivate is the exact word. But encourage means alentar. Dar aliento a alentar a alguien, okay. So I encourage you to continue 
uh, learning and practicing. First you learn and then you practice. That's the order. Uh, practicing what do you know, what do you know now? Lo que sabe? In this moment, what do you know now? Okay, keep on with English. Remember, every model that you study, you go up. Okay, you go up, you increase. Okay, that is a, a, a wish that I have for you. Okay, that's my, those are my words to you. Okay, perfect indications, no more. You know this already. That's not important anymore. And the four areas, okay. Um, in your opinion, what's the area that you practice the most during the model? What is the area that you practiced the most, in your opinion? The speaking and listening. The speaking and listening. Okay, you too. I have any anyone else? What is that? What is that? The area that you feel that you practiced more in this model. Which one? Hello, hello. Okay. I know you you are there. Okay, only one opinion. And what about the rest that didn't practice? Okay, huh? I remember who practiced in this model in my classes. Okay, but remember you you need to sharpen. Um you need to sharpen. You need to improve, mejorar by practicing, practicando. Okay. Let's see, and the tools, you know, the tools that we have been using during the course. Okay, the final, the final topic of the class of the model is? Yes, yes. The final the topic is academic, academic and school vocabulary. Okay, academic and school vocabulary. Okay, can you read this? Educational institutions. Okay. Educational institutions uh, are the schools. Okay. University. What else? The schools, universities. What else? Any other institution, uh, educational in institution that you know? University, schools. What else? Academy. Academies. Yeah. We have academies too. A specialized academies according with uh, several areas. Okay, and the vocabulary that we are going to practice is this one. Okay, the first word that you see, which one is it? Kindergarten. Kindergarten is, that, that means pre? Preschool education. Okay, that's not formal yet. That's not formal. That is pre, before. Pre means before, before the normal education. Okay, let's see. Uh, how many of you went to kindergarten? Did you go to kindergarten? Uh -huh. You don't. You don't know. Oh, okay. Maybe you don't remember if you went to. Candy, did you go? Do you remember? No, I didn't go. You didn't go to kindergarten. <laughs> Why not? Why not? Maybe because I live, uh, I live far, far, far. Ah, okay, okay, I get it. Okay, but that's not that's not anything bad. Okay, that's okay. And you, Elise, did you remember that you went to? Kindergarten? Uh, I believe uh, yes. Okay, yes. you say yes. Okay, cool. Marita yes. and you? Okay, cool. Marita and you? No. You didn't go. Okay, I didn't go. Remember, you can practice. I didn't. Okay, yes, for the class. Uh huh. Uh -huh. No. I, I didn't go to kindergarten. Complete subject, very compliment. Complete. Very complete. Okay. Uh, please deactivate your microphone. is is causing a background noise. Okay. And Ingrid, Vanessa. 
And Ingrid, did you go to kindergarten? No, I didn't go to kindergarten. Okay, neither. Monica, Monica Hernandez? Yes, I went the kindergarten. Okay, to the kindergarten in Alan, El, Alan, Edwin, Josman, and you? And you guys, did you go? Yes, I went to kindergarten. Ah, okay, perfect, nice. Okay, good. Okay, that is the first one, kindergarten. What is next in, in talking in the matter of education? What is next after kindergarten? What is that? That is? Primary school. Uh, okay. Well, okay, the word says primary, but the pronunciation is primary. Repeat primary. 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 Okay, primary. primary. Let's let's see. Primary. Is that true that the pronunciation is that one, teacher? Primary. Primary. Ah, okay, it is. Okay, repeat primary. Primary. Primary is cool. Primary. Okay. Uh, the the grades. Uh, do you know the grades in primary school? Which grades do you study in primary? Which grades? Que grados? Which grades do you study first. in primary? Uh, first, first, first grade, second. you can say it. First. first grade. Second, second grade. Second grade. Second grade. Second grade. And? Third. And third. Only three. Right. Only three. three. Okay, primary. Next, after that is? Secondary. Secondary. Is school. school and the grades that you study in the secondary school? Fourth. 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 Uh -huh. Fourth. Five. Five. Fifth. 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 Because we are practicing ordinal numbers. Fifth. Fifth. Uh -huh. Third Eight. grade. And? And six. 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 Sixth grade. Correct. Sixth grade. Okay. And what, what about seventh? And seventh? In the eighth? In ninth, in secondary, yes or no? Yes. Oh. I guess, I guess so. Creo que sí, I guess yes. so. Uh -huh. Because that is the secondary school. Okay, until ninth, ninth grade, noveno. Okay, after that, we have? Mm, okay, that depends. That depends on the country. Yes, depends on the country. In, in the United States, in Canada, is different from here. Okay, next is? College. College. For that means? For, for further education. For education. But college doesn't mean, doesn't mean colegio, college? Yes or no? Uh, what is college? Yes. Bachillerato. Ah, okay. College is not como college. El bachillerato. Yes. Like... Okay, college. For their education. And the one that is below, the one that is below, which one? What is further? Uh -huh. uh, further. Further is um, another level, a higher level of education after secondary. After ah, okay. secondary, yes, after. Okay. Ah, okay. And below college, we have? Higher. 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 Okay. Higher. Education. Higher. That University. means? University. University. Education. education. Okay, or in other countries, they can call it tertiary, 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 tertiary education. education, or that is a university. In the university is called, uh, uh, what else? Higher, higher education after college. And finally, we have Post, masters, post, post. Post graduate school. school. Okay, what is postgraduate in Spanish? Postgrados. Post, post Aha, uh -huh, or doctorado, right? We know it, we know them as doctorados too in our country. Okay, or that means, in other words, university, 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 Degree level. What is beyond? Beyond, beyond, boss light year, beyond and beyond says boss light year. Okay, do you know the, the cartoon? Uh -huh, the cartoon TV? Yes? 
Buzz, Buzz Lightyear, Toy Story. He says, él dice, how, how, what, what does it say? Huh? What does he say in the movie? Beyond and beyond and beyond, he says. And beyond means, ¿qué significa? What is the meaning? Studying beyond degree, más allá, más allá más degree, allá. más allá, degree level. Okay, what is degree? Degree. What is degree? Título. Ah, correct. Okay, a formal title. Formal title. Título. Formal. Formal title. When you are studying after the university, is after, después. Okay, perfect, perfect. What else we have about vocabulary um, regarding to this topic, educational institutions? Okay, let's see. We are going to see some school subjects. School subjects. School okay, subjects. open question. Open question for you. What, which was your favorite subject at a school? Which one? What? My favorite subject was English. Ah, English. Okay, you liked it since since before, this antes. And ah. social. Ah, okay. In social, repeat social. Social. Social studies. Ah, okay, two two subjects. And and for you, Edwin, which was your favorite subject when you were? Okay, I am using simple past. Yes, verb to be in simple past. Edwin, your favorite subject at school. My favorite subject was math. Math. No, I am terrible at math. I am terrible with numbers. Believe me, too, too terrible. Marcela Rodriguez, in yours? Carolina, maybe? Karen, favorite subject when you were at school? Osmin, yes. So, Lise, um. Josman. I like a computation. Okay. Uh, I you liked you liked computing. Computer. Okay. Or programming. Programming is no, it's, it's not programming, it's computer. Ah, uh, computation, computer. Uh, okay, cool. System, system. Uh -huh, or system computing. Okay. Okay, I get it. And you, uh, Maritza, your favorite uh, subject when you were at school? Favorite subject and language. Was, okay, was. Uh -huh. Language. language. Uh, okay, English, English, German, French. Those ones. Esas. Yes. Uh, okay, cool. Okay, perfect. Uh, okay, and judgment, yours? I'm my subject and language and history. Uh, okay, good, good. But remember, you need to use the, the simple past of the verb to be, which was your favorite subject when you were in school? And the answer is my favorite subject when I was at school was, which one, which one, Josman? Can you repeat it? Math. Mathematics. Josman. History. Ah, history, history channel, no. I like <laughs> okay, but that's History. not a subject. But it's very educational. Okay, it's not a subject, but a lot. Ada, Marilu, and yours, your favorite subject. Uh, hello, my favorite subject was uh, language too. Uh, languages, okay, and better known as languages. And Rene, and yours? <laughs> my favorite subject was um, artistic and dance. Ah, dancing, okay, okay. Dancing and uh, artistic, okay. That is about exercising, okay, perfect, good. Okay, excellent, you have some. Okay, the first one is? Math. 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 Okay, that is the short way, the short way. The complete word is mathematics, but people say, People say math. 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 Okay, math. Next one is language. Language. Repeat language. 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 Ah, okay. And this one is literature. Ah, okay. That's a difficult word. Okay. 
Let's uh, pronounce it. Okay, I'm gonna look for it. Uh, okay, I'm gonna delete the previous one. Uh, okay, Re try to repeat it because it's uh, it's kind of literature. Uh huh? Did you hear? Literature. 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 Okay. No T is like letter R. Liter. Liter. Literature. Uh -huh. Literature. 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 Okay. Literature. That's the one. S S pronunciation. Okay. Literature. Okay. Next one is science. 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 Ah, no science. No right science. No never. Is science, okay? Science, science, science is studies, the study of the la science, okay, science. Next. Basic. Basic. Uh, Basic. Okay, physics, physics, Pfizer, uh -huh. the, vac the vaccine, <laughs> <laughs> Pfizer, no. No, there's not that one. Uh, okay, difficult, difficult pronunciation at the beginning, but after, no. Okay, I'm going to delete the previous one. Uh, okay, let's repeat, please. Physics. 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 Physics, see? There is a, the phonetic. Physics. Physics. What is physics? What's physics? Physics. Okay, physics. Okay, physics. Okay, but the physics like... Um, is earth a study about earth and other things okay great physics remember physics no Pfizer no Fisi or something similar okay next is biology okay biology repeat biology biology that is and that is Okay. okay, you can guess it. Okay, next one is uh, chemistry. chemistry. Ah, correct, correct. Chemistry. Repeat it, please. Chemistry, chemistry. What's chemistry? What's chemistry? Uh huh. And that is chemica, chemistry, and pharmacy. Okay, that is a career in El Salvador about this. Chemistry and pharmacy, yes, right? Mm -hmm. We yeah. have yeah. we have that um, that career at the university. Chemistry and pharmacy. Okay, next one is natural science. Natural science. Natural, natural. It doesn't convince me. No me convence. Okay, it's not natural. Natural yeah, sound. Oh, okay. Let's see. Uh huh. Natural. Repeat it, please. Natural. 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 Okay, perfect. Okay, natural. now you pronounce it more natural. Ahora sí está más natural. 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 Okay, no natural. No natural is. Uh, to Spanish, no. muy español. Okay, okay, natural, science. complete, complete, complete. Uh -huh. Natural science. Okay, good, good, good. Good that you practice. Okay, you are practicing pronunciation, the correct one. Okay, next. Geography. Geo geography, geography. 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 Okay, not difficult. Okay, it's like a standard. Next, religious, religious, religious studies. Did you receive uh, religious studies at a school? Did you receive? Yes, I received. You did. Okay, Victor did. received. Did. Okay, but um, Christian or or Catholic study? Uh, both. Both, Both because ah. I, I I have the study in, in Christian and, and and in Catholic. 
Ah, okay, good. Okay, both. Okay, good. And what about you? Did you receive? Uh huh. Catholic, religious? No. No, no, no one else. Okay, nadie más. Okay, good. Okay, next, next subject is history. History, history channel. Okay, history. Okay, history. Okay, watch, watch a history channel in English. If you have, if you have cable. Hey, that's something good too. Use uh, your TV and channels in English with the English subtitles, not in Spanish, in English. Okay, CNN, History, uh, Turbo, I don't know what else. Okay, those uh, those are very nice. Next and uh, next subject is information, information technology. technology information technology or by the letters IT. IT. IT okay IT correct IT next physical education physical okay I guess Renee was saying that her favorite subject was physical and ah, now we have it aquí está we have it physical repeat Physical, physical education, education. or PE, PE, okay, PE. Next, cookery. 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 cookery, cookery. What is that, teacher? Cookery, <laughs> cookery. That sounds weird. Uh huh. Cookery, no. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. What's that? In your opinion, what's cookery? Cookery. Uh -huh. It comes from the verb. The verb. What is the verb? Cocinar. Cook. And cookery is? Cocinero. Okay, but as a subject, pero como una subject, translation, uh -huh. cocina. General, cocina, cookery. Repeat. Cookery. 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 Okay, that sounds weird. That sounds weird. Okay, but it's not common. In our country, it's not common. Okay. Um, or that means? Domestic. Domestic. Okay. Or another option is? Food science. Ciencia de la? Comida. But we don't say yeah. it. We don't say it. We don't say that in Spanish. What is this in Spanish? Food science. Ciencia de la comida. What is the word in Spanish? Gastronomy. Ah, gastronomy. Gastronomy. Hey, let's wow. find. Is it correct to say gastronomy in English? What do you say? Opinions? Correct, incorrect. Uh huh. Yeah. Is it correct in English? There is correct gastronomy. Okay, let's see. Gastronomy is activity. Can you read it? Can you read it? Gastronomy is activity and knowledge involved in preparing and appreciating food. food. Okay. Food. Burgundy? Burgundy has always been considered a major center of gastronomy. Okay, center. We say center. Okay. okay. In English, okay. American people use center. They don't pronounce letter T centre. No. They say simply center. Center of gastronomy. Okay, yeah, it is correct. Gastronomy. Okay, but you know, we have we have another option. We have more vocabulary, new vocabulary, maybe, uh, that you can that can you can use. Okay, domestic and food science, gastronomy. Next. Handicrafts. Handicrafts. What's that? Ideas? Manualidad. Ah, creative hands. Creative Manualidad. hands. Little, little creative hands. Manitas. Uh -huh. Manitas. Yeah, in the school, <laughs> in kindergarten, with the scissors and paper. Okay, that's pretty nice. That's a handicrafts. Okay, repeat. Practice the word, practice yours. Handicrafts. Handy, handicrafts. handicrafts. Okay, handicrafts. next. Ah, oh, this is my favorite subject. Art. Art, okay. Art. That was, and that 
that is my favorite subject in that was in school and in university i continue studying this in my case okay do you like art do you appreciate art guys do you do you like it you don't like it art okay good good okay and finally yes music i liked it a lot too i liked it a lot and you do you like music uh -huh. in general music or as a subject yes, i like it okay music is pretty mm -hmm. nice pretty nice okay did you have any teacher or professor music professor no ingrid ingrid vanessa says no i didn't have uh -huh. and you anna anna martinez no music I like. You liked it. Okay, you like it. Okay, okay, good. Okay, that was some vocabulary about academic and the school vocabulary. And the school, school vocabulary. 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 Vocabulary, correct, correct. Okay, pretty cool. Uh, let's see. Let's advance to the next topic. Let's advance because time flies. Tiempo vuela, time flies. Okay, and the next. As the next part, we have an activity. Okay. We have an activity with the link. Can you read the sentence that is there? With the, with the link below, you can listen to the words from the musician in practice. In practice. Ah, okay. This link, this is the link about this vocabulary. You can play the link. Okay. I'm, I'm not going to do it. I'm going to show you only, solo le muestro, okay? You copy, paste, and you will go, or the link direct you to this website. And you can practice the pronunciation in English about the, the subjects, about these uh, educational institutions, and so on. Okay, but if that is for you, you can do that in your free time. Okay, next, next, and what is what do we have next? Okay, what is the activity? What is the activity that we have? Reading, listening, listening, listening comparison activity. Activity. Let's listen listen about biography. Uh, stop! 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 Time! Yeah. Time out! Time out! Some uh, some yeah. of you said biography. No, is by correct biography. Biography. biography yes biography. about about some okay questions. questions some questions yes in the famous person is that Cleopatra who are she complete complete subject Subject very compliment. Remember she that is, she, she, she correct. She was she, is. she was clear. Uh, but in the picture she is simple present. Yes. Uh -huh. Is that correct that she is Cleopatra in the picture? Yes. 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 Because you are looking at her, but in reality, talking about history, she was correct. Okay, she was. She was Cleopatra. What do you know about Cleo? About Cleopatra, what do you know? What information do you know about her? Known? She was a queen. Uh, okay, she was a queen. Yeah, good. Okay, that's that's good. She was she, a queen. Uh -huh. She was intelligent. Ah, okay. Yeah, that's true. I have heard that she, she was very, very intelligent. A very intelligent woman, correct. Yes, you're right. And what else? She was okay. a beautiful woman. She was a beautiful woman. Okay, that is very characteristic about her history. That's cool. Okay, that's correct. Okay, good. Okay, look at it. Look at her. She she is in the picture. Okay, very pretty, pretty. Okay, beautiful. And another word that you can use instead of beautiful, beautiful, you're beautiful. Uh -huh. Okay, pretty. And another adjective 
Uh, you can use is gorgeous. Repeat gorgeous. Gorgeous. Sorry. Gorgeous. 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 Uh -huh. that, that means more, more than pretty. Más que? Bonita. A lot, a lot more. Okay, a mm. lot more. Gorgeous, gorgeous. Okay, or precious. Precious, mm, that's another adjective. Precious. Precious, precious. Okay, good. Let's see. Um, what else? We are going to practice reading. The listening, okay? Listening is, is important too, and some grammar. Uh, with the questions and the answers. Okay, let's see. Mm, I will play the listening. Okay, just let me accommodate or organize my screen. I guess I have the listening. No, I have the chocolate. Let me look for the the previous listening. Clio, Clio, Clio. Ah, okay, I have it. Okay, I'm gonna pass the file to my computer. Okay. Hey guys, be ready and let's pay attention. I can play a couple of times. Uh, twice, no basis. Okay, for the listening twice, just pay attention, try to focus on what the presenter, while the presenter is talking about Cleo. Okay, ready, ready. Cleopatra was one of the most famous female rulers in history, and her life story is full of drama and excitement. Cleopatra was born in 69 BCE. Her father was the pharaoh of Egypt, part of a long line of Greek-speaking rulers of the country. He died when she was 18, and she and her younger brother Ptolemy ruled the country together for a while before he sent her away. At this time in Rome, Two men, Julius Caesar and Pompey, were fighting for control. Pompey ran away to Egypt and Caesar followed him. When Ptolemy killed Pompey, Caesar became angry. He worked with Cleopatra to take control of Egypt and kill Ptolemy. Cleopatra became the pharaoh and Caesar's lover. In 47 BCE, their son Caesarion was born. Cleopatra brought peace to Egypt. During this time, she learned to speak Egyptian. Surprisingly, before this time, her family only spoke Greek. This helped her to understand her people and rule the country well. However, in 44 BCE, Caesar was killed. This resulted in a new fight for control of Rome. This time, Caesar's son Octavian was fighting against Mark Antony. Mark Antony began a political and romantic relationship with Cleopatra. They had three children together. In 31 BCE, Cleopatra and Mark Antony fought Octavian in a big sea battle off the coast of Greece. Octavian won and Cleopatra and Mark Antony returned to Egypt. Octavian followed them to the city of Alexandria. Mark Antony and Cleopatra both killed themselves. The famous story is that Cleopatra made a snake bite her. They are buried together in an unknown place. After Cleopatra died, Egypt became part of the Roman Empire. There are many stories, plays and films about Cleopatra. She was famous for her beauty, but also for her political intelligence and leadership. Okay, okay. Uh, I will play it a second time. Okay. What, what is that accent? ¿Qué acento es? That accent. Do you know? We're talking. Uh -huh. Ah, from, from England, okay? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that is the accent um, uh, about the people in English people, to be specific, okay? It's not, it's not so difficult, but at the beginning, a little bit. Okay, uh, second, second time. Attention, attention. Cleopatra was one of the most famous female rulers in history, and her life story is full of drama and excitement. Cleopatra was born in 69 BCE. Her father was the pharaoh of Egypt, part of a long line of Greek-speaking rulers of the country. He died when she was 18, and she and her younger brother Ptolemy ruled the country together for a while before he sent her away. 
At this time in Rome, two men, Julius Caesar and Pompey, were fighting for control. Pompey ran away to Egypt and Caesar followed him. When Ptolemy killed Pompey, Caesar became angry. He worked with Cleopatra to take control of Egypt and kill Ptolemy. Cleopatra became the pharaoh and Caesar's lover. In 47 BCE, their son Caesarian was born. Cleopatra brought peace to Egypt. During this time, she learned to speak Egyptian. Surprisingly, before this time, her family only spoke Greek. This helped her to understand her people and rule the country well. However, in 44 BCE, Caesar was killed. This resulted in a new fight for control of Rome. This time, Caesar's son Octavian was fighting against Mark Antony. Mark Antony began a political and romantic relationship with Cleopatra. They had three children together. In 31 BCE, Cleopatra and Mark Antony fought Octavian in a big sea battle off the coast of Greece. Octavian won and Cleopatra and Mark Antony returned to Egypt. Octavian followed them to the city of Alexandria. Mark Antony and Cleopatra both killed themselves. The famous story is that Cleopatra made a snake bite her. They are buried together in an unknown place. After Cleopatra died, Egypt became part of the Roman Empire. There are many stories, plays and films about Cleopatra. She was famous for her beauty, but also for her political intelligence and leadership. Okay, okay, let's go with the reading and grammar part about the listening. Okay, the questions now, let's now. Hello, hello, are you there yet? Answer the question, give complete answers. Okay, subject plus verb subject plus, plus complement, verb. right? Okay, yeah. correct. Okay, let's repeat. Answers. answers, no W, okay? Answers. Imagine that you don't have W. Answers. Answers. Correct, answers, no W. Okay, good. The, as the answer, no, the answer, no. The question number one is... Mm -hmm. Can when, you... was when was Cleopatra born? When was Cleopatra born? Um, could you hear in the listening when? It was 16, uh, 69. Mm, when was Cleopatra born? Okay. Or to be more specific, which year? Which, which year was? In which year? You can say in which year was Cleopatra born? Okay, let's play. Let's play the listening while we find the answer. Cleopatra was one of the most famous female rulers in history and her life story is full of drama and excitement. Cleopatra was born in 69 BCE. Oh, what is the year? 69. 69, correct. 69. In the letters? B, in the letters? B, C, A. Ah, correct. What is B, C, A? What is B, C, A? Before Christ. And the letter A? Before Christ. Mm, let's see. I don't remember exactly what the what's the meaning of a in this in this part. Okay, but the year is correct before Christ. Mm, I don't remember the letter a in this moment. After, Christo, after, after, before, not before Christ. Under. That's Under. before, not after. After is ahead. Okay, but the answer is that correct? Yes. Sure, 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 guys, it seems, yeah, that is uh, the correct answer. Life story is full of drama and excitement. Cleopatra was born in 69 BCE. Okay, that is correct, good, okay, correct answer. Okay, the second, the second question is, hello, 
What age was Cleopatra when her father died? Uh -huh. When her father, what age was she? What age? Okay, let's listen. Her father was. Excuse me? Can you repeat? 14. 14. 14. 14. Uh huh. Yes. Uh, yeah, but okay, this is the complement. And the complete was. is she was. Okay, or she was. She was? She was 14. Born. Yeah. Born. Don't, don't forget born. Yeah, she was born in etc. 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 The complement. Okay, she was born. That is complete. In this one? Uh -huh. She was. She was, okay, again, correct, because we weren't talking in simple past. She was, and uh, someone said 14 years old. Let's see, let's check. 29 BCE, her father was the pharaoh of Egypt, part of a long line of Greek-speaking rulers of the country. He died when she was 18. And oh, he said, he said there. 18. Ah, uh, can you repeat? Repeat the year. 80. Complete. 80. Now complete. He was 18 uh -huh. years old. When her father died. Okay, that's the compliment. The compliment, okay. you can make it long or you can short. You can make it short or long. No problem. Yeah, but that is a one. That is the correct answer. Next. Next question. Number three. Who was Cleopatra's brother? Who was Cleopatra's? Okay, this is possessive. El hermano de Cleopatra. Cleopatra. Okay, who was? Who well, was? He was uh, okay, Octavia. let's listen. She and her younger brother Ptolemy. Ah, what was her his name? Ptolemy. Ah, Ptolemy. Okay, complete, complete. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Complete? Complete answer her subject. Brother, you can start from was, here. Uh -huh. brother was yeah, correct. But you can use this, this example too. Cleopatra was, was, was Tolo, Tolomate. Tolomate, Tol uh, let's see. Cleopatra's, let's find out. Cleopatra's brother name brother name let's see how do you write that uh where is it ah pt here it is ptolemy okay that's weird okay weird name no tolomate as i as i typed <laughs> i was wrong ptolemy okay correct cleopatra's uh -huh. okay Cleopatra's, hey, someone is drawing again. Okay, no problem. Uh, let me share again. Sharing, sharing again. Okay. Okay, correct. Next, next question. Number four is what? Okay. What country did Pompey run? What is run away? Correct. Correct, yes. Or escape, escapar, etc. Synonyms. Okay, let's find the answer. Speaking rulers of the country. He died when she was 18, and she and her younger brother, Ptolemy, ruled the country together for a while before he sent her away. At this time in Rome, two men, Julius Caesar and Pompey, were fighting for control. Pompey ran away to Egypt and Caesar followed him. Uh -huh. What is the country? Pompey ran away from Egypt. And the country, only the country. They, okay, or with the subject verb complement, they ran. Okay, it's simple past, remember. They ran away. Ran away. 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 
Uh -huh. Run away to in the country is Egypt. Egypt. Uh, Egypt. Um, is Egypt. E. Mm -hmm. Egypt. Egypt. In the country is what is that country? Alexandria. Uh, no, this one, this one, Egypt. Egypt. Correct. Yeah, nowadays and in the past too. Okay, very good. They ran away to Egypt. Okay, good. Excellent. Okay, let's see. Mm, we have more questions. Let's see. I guess we have four more questions. One, two, three, four. One, two, three. Yeah. Two, four more. Next. Next, next. What is the next question? In which language the first family spoke? They spoke Greek. Ah, okay. They spoke Greek. 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 What is what is that language? Greek. Uh, ah, okay, Griego. Yeah, from from Greece, the Grecia, from Greece. Okay, yeah, that is correct. That is the correct answer. Okay, next number six. Which girl was Caesar killed? Which girl was Caesar killed? Killed. Fue. Asesinado. Correct. No, matado, right? Yeah. Someone told me matado, teacher. No, he's <laughs> asesinado, killed. Aha, let's find the answer in the listening. When Ptolemy killed Pompey, Caesar became angry. He worked with Cleopatra to take control of Egypt and kill Ptolemy. Cleopatra became the pharaoh and Caesar's lover. In 47 BCE, their son Caesarian was born. Cleopatra brought peace to Egypt. During this time, she learned to speak Egyptian. Surprisingly, before this time, her family only spoke Greek. This helped her to understand her people and rule the country well. However, in 44 BCE, Caesar was killed. Uh -huh. Okay, you can start with the subject. What is the subject? Hello, hello. Hey. So. Are you there? Did I disconnect? No? I don't see you. He it's, was. Okay. Caesar. Was. Was, correct, because was is in the question. Caesar was. Uh -huh. Killed. Killed. Mm -hmm. Repeat, killed. Mm -hmm. D. Killed. Killed. In. Which year? Sure. And rule the country well. However, in 44 BCE, mm -hmm. 44, 44, 44. No, ah, yeah, yeah, 44. Yeah. B. BCA, mm -hmm. the man says. Okay, yeah, that is the year. Caesar was killed. Okay, practice, practice the, the structure. Caesar was, was killed in 44 BCA. 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 Perfect, perfect. Okay, guys, we need to stop because of the time and you can complete the questions. I upload the audio already, the listening exercise in the Google Drive, um, in the Google Drive file. Okay, guys, thank you very much for your effort, for your patience, for your comprehension, for everything. I wish you the best for your next model and continue, continue, don't stop for any reason. Okay, my pleasure to be with you in this model and keep on, keep on practicing English that you will be better every day. Thank you so much for everything, guys. I will miss you and I hope to see you soon in other levels. All right. Right. All right. All right. Good teacher. Okay. Perfect, Not guys. Thank you. Have a good night, night, teacher. Thank you. Good night. Thank, Thank you. Thank you so much. Bye. Have a great night too. Now it's raining. It's raining a lot here. Yes. Yes. Good night, teacher. Okay. Bye bye. See you. See you soon bye. in another bye. level. Happy vacation. Happy vacation Happy too. Level. Yeah. Enjoy it. Oh, yeah. Enjoy yeah. it a lot. See you guys. Bye bye. 
you. Take care. Take care, all of you. Bye-bye.